no what do you think about the performance of Mr. Conor McGregor? You know, as a boxer, you know, I, that's a good question. And, you know, I've really given it a lot of thought, and I've seen it a couple of times. And, you know, whenever you prepare for a fight, with me as a person like me, like when Andre Ward fought uh, Kovalov, you look for little kinks in the armor before you even get into the ring, the training and all that. And I think McGregor lacked that A-level experience uh, with his team and with himself. And, uh, you know, even to have Joe Cortez in his corner, showing him the ropes and all that, he didn't use them right off the bat. He's using the, you know, the hammer fist and all that. But, 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 you know, the thing about it, Floyd had plan A, B, and C, which a great champion does. Right. McGregor only had a plan A. But, but, you know, as you look at these two athletes coming in, and, you, you know, you got to be fair in this game. McGregor, at best, was a B-rated fighter in boxing. In boxing. In, in the mixed martial arts, he's an A+. Plus. In boxing, he was a B. Floyd, come on, man. He lost nothing, and, and, uh, and it showed. Uh, I think the stoppage was fair, you know, and you know when McGregor when McGregor started going backwards, uh, he looked confused, and that's what I'm talking about. Plan B, he didn't, he didn't have a plan B. He panicked. He didn't have a plan B, so that's what I'm talking about. And Floyd, that was that plan B. Didn't even have to go into plan C. Plan C would have been if he got dropped, he would have known how to recuperate, but that never happened. So uh, yeah, that's that's my analogy. Great analogy, man. Not a bad analogy. Thank you, man. All right, you're like the first snitch. on the Mayweather channel. Snitch.